tacos loved around the world, here in Texas, throughout the United States, but mostly <laughs> in Mexico. I'm telling you, tacos are to Mexico what the hamburger and the hot dog are to the United States. Today, on Stay Home, Eat Great, I'll be making tacos al pastor. If you don't know what tacos al pastor is, uh, maybe you might have seen uh, th these uh, hunks of meat. They call them trompos. Uh, they're layered pieces of pork, okay? And it's trompo because it's shaped as, a, as, a, as an old style top, if, if you will, this way. Uh, some were wood fired and, and others were gas fired. Uh, they still exist, of course. Uh, not so much in the United States. If you make them at home, and especially the way I'm gonna show you, you're gonna find out that they can be very delicious. So, just a brief history on uh, tacos al pastor, specifically uh, el trompo and the style. It originated in Asia Minor uh, during the Ottoman Empire. Uh, the Ottoman Empire was founded in uh, right around uh, uh, the 1300. Okay, and, and you can see these different styles as, as, as they've come across this way. Uh, they're found in shawarmas in Lebanon. Uh, you can find them in the, in the gyros, or some call them gyros of Greece, uh, the, or even the kebabs of Turkey. Uh, then um, uh, Lebanese immigrants later on came over uh, uh, through Veracruz and ultimately settled in Puebla, Mexico. And they taught that style here and that's where we get the modern day taco al pastor or taco de trompo. So today, on Stay Home Eat Great, I want you to sit back, relax, uh, enjoy this uh, and take some notes because once you see it, you're going to enjoy it, you're going to want to do it yourself. So now, on to the ingredients. At the heart of your tacos al pastor is your pork. I'm using pork shoulder or a pork butt. You can use bone in or boneless. For the sake of time, I'm using boneless uh, because we're gonna have to cut it into slices, which we'll be doing in a second. So uh, this is six and a half pounds of pork shoulder. Uh, aside from that is your, your rub. So we have a, a guajillo, dried guajillo chili pods uh, that I'm about to hydrate by boiling them. Uh, achiote anato it's a it's a condiment paste it's a flavor uh, very very earthy in authentic mexican recipes i'm also going to be using the juice of four limes i'm going to be using um one cup of pineapple juice i'm going to be using a quarter cup of white vinegar i'll be using five cloves of garlic some salt to taste uh, and then a, uh, a medium to large onion that I'm chopping it. We're gonna blend this all together. As far as our spices, uh, uh, contained in, in this one right here, I have one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dry oregano, and one teaspoon of cumin. As far as the achiote or anato uh, condiment paste here, I'll be using half of this little brick here. All right. So now on to hydrating our guajillo chili pods. All right, so once you've brought your water to a boil, the saucepan, I have this long saucepan, you bring your five guajillo chiles, put them right in for about a minute, okay? I'll, I'll start dunking them in a, little, in a little bit. You want these to rehydrate and get soft for about a minute here. So I'm, I'm dunking them and I can already smell them as they start rehydrating. I'm getting excited. I hope you are too. I'm just using this uh, plastic chopstick here. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. And now on to making our adobo marinade. Start off by putting our lime juice, our pineapple juice, white vinegar, bring in our five cloves <laughs> of garlic, uh, about a about a tablespoon of kosher salt, uh, dried spices. Bring them all in. All right. I'm gonna bring in my five guajillo chiles. Now our achiote or anato paste. A third of this. All right, just like that. Our onion. Now to blend until smooth. All right, let's 
have a look. This is what we have here. This uh, thick sauce here that we're going to use. This is our adobo. We're going to marinate our pork shoulder in here for our tacos al pastor. All right. So what we want to do is we want to cut our pork shoulder. Now there's no bone in here. This is boneless. We want to cut it in about a half inch slices. We're going to come along this way. Come all the way down. We've cut all of our pork shoulder. Now we're gonna pour all of our adobo marinade. Meticulous about getting all of your pork in the marinade. Uh, at the end of this, we're gonna cover it for an hour in the refrigerator and let it sit and absorb all of these flavors. All right, so we're gonna get our, I'm gonna have, I have these two bamboo skewers here. I'm gonna poke them right into this onion. Some people do a, a piece of, or a slice of pineapple, but uh, my wife doesn't like pineapple, so we're coming this way, here you go. Layer after layer. They're the biggest layers you can find in the beginning, just to make a, a, a nice base. There you go, going for the bigger ones here. I'm gonna go all the way until we get to the top. All right, so now we've already made the full uh, trompo here, the al pastor trompo. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim off a couple of these uh, overlap areas and, and begin putting them here. Uh, and then we're, we got, we're about to put it in the oven, 350 degrees. All right, so <laughs> once you put the crowning jewel on top, so remember, I have an onion on top and an onion on bottom for stabilization. You physics majors are going to know all about this. Uh, that'll keep it from toppling. Now bring it right in and let it cook. Well, here we have our uh, trompo. Here we have our pastor meat. So what we do next is uh, we cut this down this way for our tacos man look at that can you, can you see that we just cut right down the side and we go ahead and turn uh, the plate around we're gonna heat up some tortillas and I tell you what this this thing came out really really nice flavor wise just the color if you try this you're really really gonna enjoy it uh, man I feel like I'm tar carving a turkey here lay this down here uh, it's top heavy so uh, you might want to get some help and I just want to show you what we have going on here I don't know if you can see that there's the all the different layers right here of the pork and then when we cut it here's some onion here on the bottom and I'm telling you what this is just excellent for tacos so why don't I go ahead and make some And there you have it. Here's our tacos al pastor. Uh, all we gotta do is put a little bit of lime right here. Right here. With your favorite chile and a cold coke. And I tell you what, you gotta try these at home. If you've never had tacos de trompo, you're gonna be in for a special treat, a special surprise. Hey, who says you can't have tacos de trompo at home? Here you go. I'll stay home, eat great. This is the first for me. And uh, I believe uh, if you give this a shot, you'll be able to knock it out as well. All right. Well, there you have it. Tacos al pastor. I made the trompo at home. Some people do it on a grill. Some people do it in the oven. Uh, you know, you got to, whatever you have uh, to do with the secret is in the adobo sauce. And I have the whole recipe on uh, this video for you. And I just want to challenge you. Uh, give this a shot. Uh, you might not be able to go to Mexico, you might not be able to go to Calle del Taco or wherever uh, you like your tacos de al pastor from, uh, but if you give this a shot, you'll be able to taste this very authentic uh, taco right at home. Uh, why don't you uh, subscribe, why don't you hit the like, why don't you share this uh, if these videos, if these recipes have been a benefit for, uh, to you, why don't you subscribe? 
uh, and share with someone uh, that you love as well so that uh, during this time, during this COVID-19 season, we can all stay home and eat great. Once again, I'm Steve Lopez. God bless you and be safe.